drop, drop, drop. Is this the fucking mic? Drop. This is exactly what I should be doing. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 001 of The Drop, um, a MoGraph.com podcast. Right. <laughs> um, Your account's going up, about- by the way. Yeah. Just letting you know. Oh, good. Yeah, we, uh, are... we talk about all things crypto art, um, uh, cryptocurrency, crypto everything. Uh, talk about NFTs, upcoming drops from different artists, uh, ones we recommend on getting into, and, um, of course, some of our friends who have recently done drops um, or uh, are about to. Mm-hmm. So, uh, let's learn about some news in crypto art. What do we got, Dave? All right. Let's see. Should we talk about this week's drops? We're going to start with the with the big drops uh, that's all up on the, the interwebs and things. Uh, cool. You want to go in order of some of these people? What I need to do is uh, bring up some of their their work here. Yes. Which I'll, yes. I'll try and just do it as so, you're talking or whatnot. So just, yeah. So um, let me see. I need to look. Ari have said yes. someone. And I want to make sure that I mention them because. Oh, sorry. No, wrong person. Dang it. Do you want to start um, with uh, Adam? Is that who we're starting with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and start with Adam. So Adam, uh, I think it's Priester, um, Houdini artist, and uh, created uh, all this work within, I think, I think I read somewhere that it was like five months of R&D, building out, you know, uh, um, like nodes and stuff. It's entirely procedural, and it is absolutely like killer work you know and so uh uh, adam has a drop today monday the first on nifty we're going to start off on nifty because really the only two places that do these types of drops that i found are nifty and makers place so feel free to uh feel free to correct me if that's wrong but yeah this is adam's work adam is absolutely like this art is fantastic and i think i have a feeling that Nifty may crash tonight because uh, uh, there's a couple of really good artists. Um, uh, the other one uh, coming up is uh, uh, Ted Chin. Um, they create these beautiful, like dreamscape type uh, things, like very, uh, very dreamy. Like you know, there's a, I think there's an open edition of like. Uh, uh, this this landscape one with like an elephant looking through it's it's going through the sky and stuff like that. Very very cool work. I'm if I was going to, I I these are stills and I'm pretty sure the drops for Ted are slightly cheaper than the Adam Priester ones. The Priester ones are a little bit more expensive. Yeah, there you go. Um, Uh, If you're looking to, like, uh, uh, get a cheaper entry into, I I would recommend this. I I think this one will do well. Um, The Adam Priester ones. So, lately, I have not been getting the open editions. I want to talk about this. Well, I have that on the list for after this. Okay, okay. Then we'll we'll just go on with the drops right now. You know, um, uh, okay. So, next up on Nifty, March 4th. I think this is weird. I'm not gonna dog any artists or whatever like that. It's just I think random. it's weird. <laughs> it, yeah, it well, it's 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 interesting that there's been a lot of celebrities doing drops lately, you know, and it's uh, like ones who you never really hear them talk about, like MoGraph or art or whatever. One of them in particular, right. T.J. Miller on March fourth. Me, for example, I probably I I don't I'm not a huge fan of T.J. Miller, you know. I, I I liked his work that he did in you know uh, uh, if you don't know he's what's what's his the name dude from Ehrlich Bachman er, er, Ehrlich Bachman from uh, from uh, uh, Silicon Valley what is Silicon Valley yes. he also played you know the guy the I kid in that character uh, on that show though I'm I hated Big the Hero fact Six. that he was gone yeah yeah so but the thing is like I don't know. He, from the things that I've heard, he's kind of a dick in oh, real life. That sucks. But yeah, so Maybe like, that's wrong. I, I think he called in like a bomb threat or something, didn't what? he? What? Yeah, I think I think T.G. Miller called in a bomb threat or something to something. I may bomb. I heard threat. that he killed someone. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, T.J. Miller. He was arrested for a, an alleged fake bomb threat. 
you know and it's like yeah yeah so it's like i don't know i just think wow. i'm not i'm not saying you should buy his stuff or that you shouldn't it's all up to you what you like of art you is like. subjective yeah buy what you like mm -hmm. you know but i'm just pointing it out that i've noticed a lot of celebrities doing drops lately you know mm -hmm. tj miller is one on the fourth anyway okay. so this next one i'm sure i'm gonna botch this but it's rhymes like diamonds you know I rhymes think it's like, like dimes yeah. Oh, rhymes like dimes. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, okay, but super cool, amazing illustrative art. Uh, I I really really like. This is the drop that they're doing uh, for uh, Nifty, and it looks fantastic. It's got music. It's got sound effects. Super great illustrative work. I'm I'm really excited about this one. Um, Let's see. Next one, March fifth. That was March fourth for mm -hmm. TJ and Rhymes Like Dimes. Uh, uh, March fifth on Nifty. Um, Fuocious. So, uh, Fuocious is that is, how you? Sp it's. How do you I think so? Okay. Fuocious. Fuocious. I think it's like ferocious, but like Fuocious. Yeah. You know. Like so, baby talk. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, uh, now these things are weird. These aren't really mography, you know, um, but like it's a weird Picasso esque whatever. I I think he I think he's younger too. He 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 did a drop, um, like last month or something, and did really well. Um, these these pieces are reselling. The reason I mention it is because these pieces are reselling for quite a bit. And so if you were able to get into that initial drop, like I think he made $700,000 off of that drop, Jeez. which was crazy to me. Yeah. Uh, but if you're looking to invest, I would say uh, Fawocious would probably be a good investment, you know, at least holding, you know, <laughs> until uh, the next one. Yeah. Um, but as far as like uh, uh, for March 5th, there's another one called Parrotism. I don't know if that's the actual name that they're doing on Nifty, but that's, uh, the, the name that I, I found on Twitter or whatever. Uh, very, uh, Is this the one? Is this right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Dang it. I don't, it's, I don't know. It says know. Parrot on oh. it, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this is uh, super cool stuff. Uh, a, a lot of the the artwork that I've seen has very Blake Catherine esque vibes, and you know me, huge fan of Blake Catherine's work. So you know, I think those ones are really really cool. And of course, super excited about March sixth. March sixth, I am going to hop in on that one because we got we got our girl Shams, uh, Smeka, uh, mm. uh, uh, Shams. She's uh, she's doing a drop on March sixth. I am super excited about this one. This is the one that I've been excited for, you know, all week and stuff like that. So I am definitely going to pick up some of her work. I would recommend everyone else do it. She's big in, she's big in this space right now. Fire. You know, mean, fire. She's fire. So in this fire. Work, in this space right now. Yeah. So I think, I think she's, she's a great artist and she's a good investment, you know, as far as holding on to artwork, if you're looking to, you know, make some money off of it. Uh, she's a really good. She's a really good investment in her work. She's got the same style as like the the fuck renders and stuff like that. And if you've seen some of his drops, the money that he's making off of Nifty, holy crap! Like mm -hmm. those have increased he's a lot. He's been in it for a while too. He's been talking. He about has it for been, a long and time. so has so has Shams. Yeah, you know they've they've been in it for a while. You know, so I'm I'm really excited and super super pumped for Shams. Uh, congratulations, we're 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 way proud of you for this drop. And she'll and be super on jealous. soon next couple months yeah she's scheduled yeah, yeah. yeah cool so that's it for nifty this week um the uh the next one we've got up is maker's place um we got a, a like three a three artists are dropping this week um the first two are going to be tomorrow um first one we've got is uh just the one you know uh the ones dropping are anna zilhevea i don't know if i'm saying that right one. she's Super cool artist does all of her stuff in VR, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love be I, I love seeing like this type of digital art in this space as well. You know, it's not just MoGraph, it's not just uh, uh, you know still photography and stuff, but like being able to create digital art in VR and then sell it. That's why I think the NFTs are so freaking cool because art is art and it doesn't matter what you're making it in. You know, 
anyone can make money off of it. So super, super cool. Um, the next one is uh, Katie Arrington. Uh, she does a lot of, uh, she's a super killer illustrator. Uh, she focuses a lot on like the female form and stuff. So you'll see like, you know, uh, uh, some illustrative nude women with like, you know, uh, pasties covering and stuff, but she's got this really, really cool style. Um, the ones that we're showing right now aren't necessarily the ones for sale. Some of them are the ones that are for sale, but some of them are just examples of the work so that well, you guys can see. we can't show the boobs right now, so. Right. You I, I was, look at that yourself. Yeah, I, I wanted to pick the most suitable for work ones for people right. who are watching, you right, know. Right, right, um, So yeah, that's Katie Arrington. Uh, then March 4th, uh, Jose Delbo, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct. I don't know if I'm saying anyone's name correct, but we're just going to go with it. Ooh, we're trying. Uh, ooh, we're trying. Jose was um, a Marvel and DC artist um, who's done a lot of classic, like, he he did a, a lot of work on, like, classic 70s, like, sitcom versions of comics, you know, so like he illustrated or he did the 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 artwork for some of the uh, the Beatles Yellow Submarine comics and like the Brady Bunch comics and stuff like that. So I don't know. It, uh, uh, pretty cool to I think anytime there's a comic book artist in there who is selling their stuff, I always think they're a, a pretty good investment. So I'm um, excited to see that. So right. that's it for that's it for the the actual like drop drops, you know, which ones the 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 nifties and the maker spaces are dropping. Those are the ones that are planned. Now, uh, coming up, we also have a bunch of friends, friends of ours who are doing drops. And because community now, members I'm, I'm gonna and, preface what? And community members and community members, yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, uh, people who Mograph. I've just yeah, MoGraph people who I've notated, you know, are making drops. And here's the thing. I have a feeling as this goes on, these lists are going to get quite a bit smaller because right now NFTs, it's the hot shit. You know, it's what right. everyone wants to talk about. It's what everyone is doing. So right now, all of our friends are making drops, you know, and so that may that may change. Oh, I also want to say if anyone is making a drop and interested in us, like maybe pushing it or something, feel free to email us info at mograph.com, you know, send us your work. We'd love to check it out. You know, maybe we'll, we'll throw it up there, uh, uh, as a inspirational artist or whatever, um, that we, we, we think people should check out. Um, all right. So friends of MoGraph, Dave, do you want to, you want to do anything or you want, you want me to just go? Um, for it? I mean, we could talk about the first one here. We just wanted to talk about what Phil dropped. Yes. Yeah, so Raid Zero, for y'all who don't know, uh, is a little bit of MoGraphy news, or uh, drop news. Um, he put on a, uh, Beeple, in, uh, a Beeple action, action figure, figure, right? This is the number so, two, the second one right this here. This is the second but, one. Yeah. Uh, it was Beeple Man, right? And uh, he had 100 of them for sale. And uh, it's funny, so I, I don't know if it was you, Dave, or Ariev, but I know I did as well. We, I, all of us, like sent it to Mike, and we we're like, "Ah, check this out." And so Mike tweeted it out, and basically, I, I think he sold out in like a few hours or whatever. Beepleman. You know, Mr. Beepleman. Mr. Beepleman. <laughs> Mike Beepleman. Yeah, he sold Attorney out. Law. Like, uh, he's yep. hitting it big on Rarible. He's like number two. He was number one the other night. Mm. He was number one, and then Pat came in and like you know overtook it. But, but then yeah. there was a part two. This is the Christie's edition. This is the is, Christie's edition yeah. for after the Christie's drop. You know, of course, he's wearing his crown. He's got his, you know, uh, fur coat and everything. So uh, and that one, I think it, it's either sold out or it's almost sold out. But if no one picks them up, I know before uh, the end of the Christie's sale, he's just going to burn the rest of them. So get them get them while it's hot if you still can. Mm -hmm. But congrats on to Raid Zero. He's a. Uh, both him and Ariev are our big success stories of the week. You know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 congrats to them. It's really cool seeing your friends and people who, you know, who you admire making this kind of, you know, impact in this new, uh, uh, I, I don't know, this new art form or whatever. You know, it's not art form. It's a new, uh, this new space. Yeah, new yeah. space for sure. So for sure. congrats. Then you got uh, uh, Smearballs. Smearballs did a drop, yeah. I think uh, his his cell 
his sold already, right? I'm not right? sure yet. I, I don't remember. Yeah. Rem That's so hard to keep up at this point. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically a full-time job. That's why I only get four hours of sleep at night of good sleep. And then the other four hours, I've got my eyes closed where I'm thinking about NFTs. I, I woke so. up this morning thinking that my alarm clock couldn't – the snooze button couldn't be hit because it is impossible to change because it is locked to a token on the blockchain. That's yes. where my head was in my dream. Yeah. Was the weird. other day, the other day, people came to me in a fever dream. Oh, yeah, yeah. And told me that his Christie's auction would go for $20 million. Yeah. And that I need to hodl on my Beeple piece that I own. Hold on. So I did not, I did not put it up for sale. You know, that would be crazy. Uh, Phil says did. there's only 14 left if you want to get one. Oh, so nice. that's on Rarible, by the way. Uh, Phil's is on Rarible. This is another thing. It's really hard to keep up, keep track on what all of these are being dropped on, you know? Yeah. yeah so yeah. Um, Smearballs. Okay, so that one. Yeah, that one did. Uh, th that one did get bought, I believe. Uh, the Smearballs one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check right now. Sorry, y'all. Um, well, while you're checking on that, let's talk about yeah. Clint. Clint, yes. Clinton Jones. Clint, uh, Clinton Jones. He was on the show. Um, uh, uh, he is, yeah, this is his drop that he's doing. I forget where Clint is doing his. Do you know? Uh, do not, because I'm up full screen right now, and I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, he will be doing this on Super Rare. Clint is okay. dropping his drop on Super Rare. It is uh, March 4th. Um, so make sure and check that out. Uh, that one's going to be a good one. I have a feeling that's so a, a lot of these that I've noticed, like if you notice Clint's Clint's was like a, a, like kind of a short film type thing, you know, as was Ariev's and also, um, Ryan Talbot released, um, his short film, uh, on as an NFT. And I've noticed that these short films, they go for a lot. You know, so if you're looking to get into the NFT space and you're an artist, I would say, you know, I I love the idea of selling a short film as mm -hmm. an NFT. I think it's a fantastic idea. You know, uh, 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 it, it gives it gives you the ability to I don't know. It, it's like so. I mean, they're I've definitely said, selling oh, better. Wanted, even, even the ones that are just yeah. like a, a quick loop of something are, are selling better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the the animations the are selling. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus the still frames, you know, it's the stuff that we were talking about last week, where, yeah, you know, that uh, Nick Walgorski brought up, where it's like, okay, is it is it good as just a still? Is it good with motion? Is it good with sound and music and stuff like that? And I've noticed the ones that are more in depth and have, uh, you know, tell a story or, uh, you know, are, you know, short films and stuff like that. They sent they tend to sell very well mm -hmm. and do very well in space. So, could be a way to uh, fund your next short film for people who are looking to do it. You know, that that'd be cool. Um, and we got Mitch like Myers. A, Mitch Myers did a drop. Yeah, um, he sold as well. Um, this one was on, um, I believe, is that Foundation or is that that is Foundation? Yeah. That's Foundation. That's foundation. Yeah. yeah. So he did a drop, sold for three Ethereum, which is cool. You know, that's a uh, uh, big congrats. I feel like I feel like this space is perfect for Mitch Myers, and I I've, mm -hmm. I've told him that numerous times. Mm -hmm. I feel like like Mitch Myers has always been he's always you know, been about the art. He's, he's always been about the art. Yeah, you know, yeah. and like you know the followers and stuff like that. He's always pushed his Instagram really hard, and you know it is his uh, his followers and stuff. And I feel like this is a really good space for him. You know, mm -hmm. and he's he's a talented artist. So, uh, let's see who else Sakani. drops this. Sakani. Okay, so coming up, yeah, um, Sakani, uh, Sakani Solomon. He's got a drop right now. Yeah, doing some of the. I think it's, it's similar along to the Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars short that he released. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Sakani's is on. Where is Sakani's? Man, I need to mark all this stuff down. I think right. Sakani's, Sakani's is, on, is on Foundation. I I do have a foundation. link to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. and also, yeah. uh, we just found out before the show is uh, um, Hondel Eugene has one coming out as yeah. well. Uh, yeah. Is it called now, Night Owl? Is that Spirit Animal. Spirit Animal. That one's on Foundation oh, as Animal. well. Okay. Yeah. I don't have that, a, so a video. If you saw if you saw uh, the NAB presentations a few years ago when Handel uh, uh, presented, 
he talked about uh, this animation and how he did it. Uh, very, very cool animation. And uh, he posted it on Instagram that he was going to drop this. And I was like, oh, dude, you're going to make so much money. <laughs> that's that's a really – like for me, that that piece, you know, well, it is just like an animated one. I, I For me, like if I was a collector, if I was I, – I, which I am, you know, if mm -hmm. I had the money – I got to sell some of mine first, you know, before I can start like really getting into the collector space. That's that's the hard thing about this one versus some of the nifty ones is they're a bit more like nifty is a little less expensive, you know, even though they do more volume, you know, than some of these other ones. And you can also pay with credit card and nifty versus, you know, right. paying. But yeah, the details, Jeff, like Jeff says, the details in this piece are absolutely killer. And to me, this is. This is like a part of Mograf history because I got to watch like the process of how it was done through that NAB talk and stuff. This, this, these are the ones that hit me really well, mm -hmm. you know. So I have a feeling, I have a feeling this one's gonna, this one's gonna sell well. Um, let's see what else. What do we got? Gernge, Gernge, Gernge. Uh, uh, Billy Chitkin. He's got, um, he's got a drop coming up, you know. Uh, I'm super excited about this. It's his uh, automotive animation series. Uh, he's doing it on Foundation. Uh, follow him. He's uh, is he underscore Gernge or at Gernge? G R N G E. <laughs> I don't know. He's underscore Gernge on uh, Twitter. So follow him. He he's he was saying he was either gonna you know announce it today or tomorrow or something like that. Just follow him up on uh, Instagram. But uh, mm -hmm. that one is being on Foundation. That's exciting. So Abby, uh, what else have we got? Abby, um, um, Abby Basilla, uh, she works for Frame.io and she's been big in the MoGraph space. Uh, uh, I, I really love her work. Um, she dropped her first piece on Foundation um, and she's got a few more uh, uh, in, in the works right now. So super excited about that one. So make sure and check that one out. Uh, next, what up we got? What up, what up? We got Winbush. What up, what up? You know, uh, he dropped his first piece on Super Rare. Uh, super excited about this one, um, and if you pay close attention, you'll notice that it is also uh, the same piece that he created specifically for the uh, the the uh, the class that he did for MoGraph.com. Mm -hmm. You know, um, which is very exciting. So if you like his work and you like this one, you can actually learn how to make this yourself uh, by <laughs> buying That's the. Right. Uh, uh, buying the Jonathan Winbush uh, creating the Unreal course uh, on MoGraph.com. Mm -hmm. So that's very exciting. Uh, Winbush, you're, you're going to do well. This one's, this one's going to sell well. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. You know. Uh, so let's many. see. I know. There's so many. Mark. Uh, uh, Mar Mark Cernosa. Yeah. Uh, our, our, our good friend from Camp MoGraph. And y'all all know yeah. from, uh, from the meeting. Slack. Yeah, money meeting. Uh, Mark Cernosa, he has done a bunch of drops. Um, this is one that he's doing. Uh, gosh, I have. There's so much to do. It's like we are jamming through. So I don't know the exact details, but he said uh, uh, proceeds from this one are going to somewhere. <laughs> to something. <laughs> to something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he says, uh, I've been thinking about how we can use NFTs for good. I think we promote change in the world through our art and these NFTs. I decided to take 50% of the sale price from my piece conservation and donate it to protect our winters. Uh, let's change the world one art piece at a time. So super cool. Buy that one. Uh, it's for a good cause. Uh, make sure and check that one out. Also, uh, Paul Robinson. I'm really excited about this oh, because uh, around, Paul and I were talking. Uh, off, Paul... Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, um, uh, Marks is dropping on Rarible. What? Am I too loud? No, no. I said you're skipping around on me. I'm sorry. Well, I'm just Ryan, reading Ryan, mine. Ryan Talbot. Ryan Talbot. No, we already talked about Ryan. We Ryan well, already made his. Well, yeah. Okay. I was just going to show. Well, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. 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 So, uh, Paul Robinson, I'm really excited about this one. He's got a pace on Rarible. Uh, this... This is this is this is uh, 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 select images from his short films that he's made. So really excited about this. This is another one of those things where it's like, you know, you've got the VR artists, you know, and then you've got uh, 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 DPs and stuff like that shooting stuff. So being able to release 
this type of stuff as NFTs and actually make money on it is fantastic. I, I'm so excited about this one. It's I'm good so to excited have an about angle when you're doing this. Absolutely, that's, that's what everybody's yeah. kind of getting to right yeah, now. Yeah. Just don't throw it yeah. up there. You have to have kind of a a purpose, an angle, something, some sort of yeah. gimmick, something to, and and that kind of applies to a lot of things. But but yeah, helps you be yeah. seen and whatnot, right? Very very exciting. Um, okay, oh. so Ryan Talbot. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm jumping around. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do let's Ryan see. here. And even let's though see. it's already dropped, but I just wanted to show it even off. Even though it has already dropped, yeah. So it was the search um, that he did. I believe he dropped these last week, and I'm pretty sure he's already sold them. Don't quote me on it. I will look it up as fast as I can. Uh, Digital Melon is what he goes under. Mm -hmm. So uh, first, uh, he uh, he did these on Maker's Place. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All he posted a bunch of his stuff over the past week, and all of them have sold out. So, congrats to Ryan. Uh, uh, great job. Super pumped for you as well. It's very, very cool. I'm sorry and if we missed somebody. We, we yes, yeah, we yeah, not yeah, believe yeah. how like, much we scrambled this please, morning to get this all together. Please, uh, please, 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 like. We keep track and notes and stuff of everyone's drops that we notice. If we don't notice you, you know, don't don't get upset. Just send us send us stuff. Please yeah, yeah. send us your drops that are coming up so that we can add that to the notes because we want we want all of our listeners and all of our friends and all the people in this industry to be able to, you know, get the 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 notoriety that they deserve. You know, and that's a, that's a, kind of what uh, REF's going for too, with like mm -hmm. the Discord and everything, and like the Facebook group is to help promote each other, try try to help each other get into this. You know, yeah, it, it, and absolutely. keeping that sense of community is like something that's really important throughout this. And yeah, so we're trying to push our friends and and really help each uh -huh. other out. So, yep. And the two best drops of all, <laughs> I would have to say. You know, both Dave and I, we we had drops this week as well. It's funny, Windows you know? just said, "Don't forget yeah, to yeah, mention yeah. yours." Yeah, what do so, you what do um, you got, Matt? So I've actually got three pieces. It's on Rarible right now, um, Dave. I don't know if you want to bring them up or whatever. I don't. So I just did. Them. I did. Uh, I did three pieces. I took. Uh, I I took some some Instagram posts that I did. You know, it's a bullet with butterfly wings. You know, from the Smashing Pumpkins. Whatever, it's fun. Um, so I uh, I took my Instagram post that I had done a while ago. So this is the last one of the three. It's a three-part series. The first one was uh, just a standard bullet with butterfly wing wings. You know, the second one was uh, one called Follow Your Leader, uh, where there's like a energy beam or whatever going up into a skull, and then you know it's blasting out butterflies. Which I I was really I had a fun time animating this one. You know, I knew. I knew that I wanted to turn this one. I felt like this one would be a really, really fun one for uh, uh, for a drop. There you go. So, and and the really fun part about this was making it loop. So, what I had to do, as you you'll notice if you look at it, all the butterflies are going, you know, in a specific way, the same color, because it, it they're just going along splines. So, I built out a bunch of splines and stuff like that, and then did a line to spline, and then animated the the wings at different points. So then. Um, um, yeah, we're going to mention that, Billy. <clears throat> so then I just duplicated them a whole bunch of times and then offset the animation so that it would be a constant loop. Um, the cool thing about uh, doing loops, like as you saw on the, the last piece that I did with the, that I called, um, a, uh, a fractured right wing, you know, um, uh, uh, that one was a loop as well. All I did was render out 500 frames, you know, of a turbulence FD thing. So what you do is you cut it in half, make the end one point and then the beginning. So where it loops perfectly and then you just slowly fade between the two. Yeah. Perfect. You know, totally. So, yeah, uh, pretty cool. So three pieces. I've got the bullet with butterfly wings. And you yes, know, Jeff, the world is a vampire. The world, yes. <laughs> and then uh, follow your leader and then my last one uh, uh, a fractured right wing so that's my butterfly series That I, we, we finally got invitations to uh, uh, foundation shout mm -hmm. out to Ross for uh, yeah, yeah. hooking us up with those so this these are probably going to be the only ones that I post on Rarible um, Same. because yeah. I just wanted to get into the, the space and stuff like that so go through I, the experience I, right like yeah, exactly. what does it take I got How the do you foundation 
invite before I uh, before I posted my third one, but I figured I wanted to keep them all in one space together because it's kind of a series. And you kind you of want to like, like decide what you want, like what types of things you want to put. Like you right. might not want to put your best stuff on Rarible. You might want to wait right. until you get an invitation. Right. Save. Don't just right. throw it all out there. Really, just just everybody calm down yeah. and yeah, take your time. That's all right. All right. There's another all cryptocurrency for everyone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you want to check out mine, you can go to app.rarable.com slash Matt Milstead. And then I've got I've got them reasonably reasonably priced. The bullet with butterfly wings is like a hundred bucks. The the follow your leader one's like two hundred. And then my last one, fractured right wing, that one's like four hundred. But there's like a hundred of you know the first two and like ten of the last one. So get the whole series. Collect them. <laughs> got to catch them all, right? Got to catch them all. <laughs> Speaking of which, so, mine has and, a Pokemon. And shout in out, it. shout out to uh, Phil for buying my first one. I uh, lots of love to you, dude. You. Uh, you uh you <laughs> you took my nft virginity and i appreciate it <laughs> all right well um, um, and then dave I, dave yeah i got one if you yeah i'm trying to see i had a note a special note here and i don't i don't know where it went i'm going to try and find it real quick but um i had a special note <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I found it. <laughs> uh, I had a special oh, yeah. note. Oh, I wanted to just yes. give a, a shout out to Marty Kane, who uh, was my first buyer. And it's kind of a special experience. Like, it's a special bond yeah. with your first buyer, right? Yeah, uh, you know? absolutely. So, so mine I, is up on Rarible. It's Mograph Dave is my username on there. If you want to check it out, mine is called Beepleception because it's Beeple inside of Beeple piece, essentially. Right. I put the drop on it, you know. Uh, this is basically I'm selling it for, and of course this varies, but in Ethereum it would be $888, 88 prints. I'm going on the eights because, you know, I got, nice. got that number eight right there, over there in yeah, the corner. Yeah, number eight. Number yeah, eight, yeah. Beeple. I'm selling it for eight point eight million dollars right now. If anybody would yeah. like to pick it up, and uh, <laughs> I'm just going on this whole like lucky eights thing. So there you go. If you'd like to uh, get yourself one of those, that's there. And then I would like to say that um, all my crazy talk about crypto art sparked my daughter's attention a little bit, and she didn't yeah. quite understand what it was. And is really funny because. Yeah. I was trying to first of all explain what cryptocurrency and that's hard enough on its own. But it's she, hard enough to yeah. explain. But yeah. she kind of understood it, but then when I it's really funny to to get her questions and it's the same questions everybody else has. I'm like, yeah. They buy this piece of art and it's like theirs on the internet. And the literally the first thing she said was, "Yeah, but can't people just like copy and paste or download?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah. "Right, but it's not the one. It's not a ta like so I I had right. to kind of like explain that you know and um <laughs> so we she was sitting at breakfast she, we were eating pancakes and uh mm -hmm. she was she was on procreate and she's sitting there making these converse sneakers you know and i took a picture mm -hmm. and i said it to barton damer and i was like dude yeah. she come work for you pretty soon and he's That's like funny. yeah and we started talking about like crypto art and he's like yeah she could do crypto art you know and yeah. uh he was like, check this out. And he sent me a link to this article where there was like some kid who collaborated with a studio and he drew all of this stuff. And then they put that drawing onto a 3d character and they made three and a half million dollars. And we, yeah. we started talking about it. I was like, you know, you could put some of this art. She's got a procreate on her iPad full of stuff that she's done. I'm like, we can put some of these up and, and see what yeah. we can do with them. So we, we decided to make her a quick Instagram account, of course, all managed by me because, you know, you got to yeah. be of age and, and right. uh, put some stuff up on Rarible. So she is selling four pieces on Rarible. And uh, you can see some of this is just kind of from her Instagram page here, but she's right. selling the Converse. Uh -huh. That's a little more of the, the there's less copies of that. Uh -huh. And then she's got the strawberry, the duck, and then the one down here in the bottom left, the one with the lips. And the lolly, yeah. the lollipop one. So those are the four that she's selling, and she's going to take this. We we've started learning recently. We got her that green, uh, what is it called? The uh, uh, 
Gosh, it's like a debit card or a credit yeah, card, it's right? The, the the kids app <clears throat> debit card is it's pretty cool. It's called Greenlight, and she's mm -hmm. learning about saving and stocks and all of this. She's saving money. I'm paying her interest, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put them up, and this is gonna be like college fund. You know, might work, yeah. might not work. Yeah, I don't know. You never know. It could blow up, and she doesn't need to go to college. But all she wants to do is <laughs> art the rest of her life. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. So yeah, those pieces are up too. You know, just you know. Yeah. Got, you want to make a kid's that. day? Go buy her artwork. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> so, so that's uh, we. I hope we didn't miss anybody, especially anybody who's alive with us now in the chat. If we missed yours, um, so. I'm, I'm telling you, you can either you can either do some one one of two things. You can you can you can hit me up on Slack. You can hit me up on the Discord. You can email us info at mograph dot com, or if I don't see it, you can email me directly matt at mograph dot com. You know. So it was it just we we want to we want to promote artists. That's that's the thing about that has always been our mantra at MoGraph.com community is to help is community yeah. and always help make this community better. So if we can if we can make this community better by helping lift up and promote other artists, you know, we're going to do it. So yeah. send your drops our way. OK, you got this hard out. So we're going to keep going. We got a lot to talk about here. Wow. Okay. All right. First of all, quickly, and this is this will be an ongoing conversation. If some people want to email us and and bring some more points up and and questions and things, we can talk about this. But the anxiety and FOMO over other people are doing this, and I'm not doing yeah. this, and it has been hard for all of us. We're yep. all going through it. That's why some people don't want to talk about crypto art at all. Yeah. And they don't want to hear about it, and they just it's yeah. it's too much for them. And we understand. And it's it's very depressing when you wake up one morning and your friend just made a hundred and forty thousand dollars, in minutes. And you're still having yeah in minutes, and you have and to go do an explainer video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it is depressing. It's important to maintain the sense of community throughout this, especially because there's people from the outside coming in yeah. here. There's a split yeah. happening. There's a separation happening is what a lot of people are saying, and I don't necessarily believe that. I feel like maybe there was a split for a week. Yeah, but but that, it, it's, yeah, it's not what you think it is. We're we're gonna normalize. It will. I think it'll be interesting to see at the meetups and stuff like that. You know, but because it, yes, here's the thing: everybody's gonna Beeple, come to see people. People like was Rambos. still people. You know, when if 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 y'all think that people wasn't rich before this, y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's funny. That dude had Louis Vuitton money. Come on, <laughs> you know. Like the thing is, people was still people, you know. No matter what, people still gonna be people. People doesn't ignore my text messages now just because he's got twenty two million dollars, you know. Right, right, right. He he is very very down to earth when it comes to that. It's great. That's yeah. what's so great about him, right? Uh, and and it's important to. I mean, it's not. Don't let it change you. Hopefully, if if you get like crypto rich, it doesn't it doesn't yeah. change you or give you a big head. I think it's very important to be aware of crypto bragging, is what I'm going to call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I know that it's exciting if you made a million dollars off of peace, and I'm not saying not to say anything. You're going to say yeah. what you're going to say, but but what if if you're constantly putting that out there? I mean, it's it's like saying that you. Like telling everybody what projects you got and how much. Right. Like if you're working right, on projects, right, right. it was this much and then we, you know. And so for other people around you, it might be frustrating. We all have to be aware of that, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, we can see how much you made. Absolutely. It's all in the blockchain. <laughs> there is literally a list of the top paid crypto artists. That's why I know <laughs> – People has twenty million dollars, but it's also hard to like just just say it. It's hard to not be super jelly, and it to is. be happy Absolutely. for your friend when they make a killing on something, right? right? Like right. I'm happy for Phil. Like I think it is so cool. Like he was talking about yeah. how he was just like it was just unbelievable when he when he hit that those numbers yeah. and he sold all those pieces. Like that's yeah. super awesome. But there's also part of me that's like, dang it, why can't I do that? Right. You know? Well, that's why we're hopping in this space as well. We're hopping on the NFT train as well. Well, you know? I don't know if my stuff will ever hit that, but still, like like <laughs> that I'm saying that's what people are dealing with right now, and it's completely <laughs> understandable and what has actually helped me is first of all learning about it 
getting in the Discord, doing something like Rarible where you don't have to wait for the application or an invite or anything. You just put it up there, learn the process. You start feeling comfortable. You meet these people because you feel like you're a part of it and you feel like you're learning. And there is nothing wrong with sitting back and learning from other people's mistakes before Absolutely. you post. You know, yeah. play that long game because it, it's, it may be changing a little or dying down or leveling or yeah. normalizing. It's not it's, going away. It's definitely going to. We're in a bubble right now, yeah. you know, and, you know, Joel was asking in the chat, do you think it's a bubble that can blow up any day? Absolutely. It's going to. It's going to, you know. But the thing is, what's going, what's going to, what we can do is try and raise up other motion designers, you know, and then if we make it, if any of y'all make it, you can help support those other motion designers by collecting their work as well. And Ari you is know? a great example of that. He's yes. like dumping Ari money is. into other he's, artists. He's basically invested all of his money back into mm -hmm. the community because, you know, you, you want, like me, for example, I, I buy people's art that like the artists that I love, the artists that I, I, I want to be able to collect and stuff like that. It's like, that's, that's what I do. That's why, that's why I love this stuff because I can own a piece of MoGraph history. You know, I'm a collector in that sense. I don't have enough money in order to start collecting more people's stuff, you know? Um, uh, but that's why we create art in hopes that we can sell it as well. You know, we get some of the MoGraphers on buying other people's work that drives the interest of collectors and stuff like that. And we all get rich. And you know, you know? what else, though? I have never met so many new friends in such a short amount of Absolutely. time, especially not like not going anywhere. Right. Yeah. Like, this has been yeah. so great. All these people that are like poo pooing it. It's like you haven't been in the discord talking to these people and like yeah. meeting new friends. Like it's it's really yeah. great. It's really comforting. It helps yeah. with the FOMO. I know it seems yeah, like it wouldn't, it but it, it helps. Yeah. And, you know, you'll be really nervous posting your first NFT piece. Mm -hmm. I, I I still aren't. I'm still not sure about mine. I like every every 20 minutes. I'm like, I just need to burn them all. You know, whatever. Well, I didn't yeah, think that I was going to sell any. And I was getting down because it had been a few days. And then I sold yeah. one. And then I felt like, you know what? I didn't sell all 88 of them. I sold one of them. But for some reason, I feel better. Yeah. And I waited yeah, yeah, yeah. and I waited and, and you're going to make a sale. You just have to wait yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, uh, also. I don't the, have a uh, following to, to push out. I got like 10 friends. Right. I got like 10 friends on Twitter. <laughs> I've never even used that account. Right. So right. how am I right, supposed right, to right. self-promote, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, other... It's, uh... oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm just trying to burn through it because. So am I. You, yeah, yeah. You got that hard out. Uh, one thing I would like to mention, because you're talking about the bubble and, and whatnot, is yeah, is a is a <laughs> something that Billy coined a phrase of last night called NFT seagulls, and we were talking about mm -hmm. the fact that there are all these people wanting to do collabs now, and it's even hitting yeah. bots to where if you're hashtagging NFT crypto art crypto artists, all of a yeah. sudden instantly you're getting hit with these bots that are like collab, 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 collab and they're collab, like the seagulls collab. in. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Mine? Yeah. Mine? Collab? Collab? That's funny. Collab? So, NFT seagulls. That's the new phrase. I was like, Billy, <sighs> you coined it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, One thing I want to talk about that uh, I, I I don't know where we're, we are on the list. I'm sorry. I know. I'm jumping so, around. So, um, I just want to say, um, so with the the Nifty Drops, it was something I was mentioning earlier about the uh, the actual, like, open editions and stuff like that. I think I'm, I think I'm burned out on open editions. Oh, yes. You know? Yeah, for sure. And I'd like to, I'd like to talk about, at least with Nifty, I don't know how it is on Makerspace. Can you keep going? I have to the pee few... again. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. The few that I've seen on Makerspace, like, the amount of people who are buying these open editions. If you just want to collect people's work and you want to pay a little bit less, I, I find that the open editions are a good one. Uh, but the ones that I've been really drawn to are the drawings lately. I really like the drawings because if you, like some of them are relatively inexpensive. You, you, you know, last night there was drawings for $20, you know, versus drawing or drawings for like a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks. The thing is, if you're if you're wanting to invest in some of this art, the drawings are great because if you win them, you're going to spend very little money in, for your uh, the return on investment. Um, and you know, it's it's not it's not you don't have a huge chance of getting one of the drawings, but if you do get it, like the the 
it, it, it's it's basically free money. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like if they're going to resell for, you know, twice, if not three times the value. Or if it's an artist that you really, really like and you know some of their stuff is just a little too expensive for you and you get the drawing, like, that is awesome because then you get to collect that piece and you know you're like one of 25 people that uh, in the world that own that piece. The drawings are really great. If you just want... If you just want to collect someone's artwork, you know, the open editions are good. If you're looking to turn them around and sell them quickly for a profit, I don't think the open editions are at that point or, or have gone past the point where you can do that, at least with big name artists for the other. Uh, for example, you know, I got lucky John Norlander when he did that drop. Um, it was either last week or the week before where Nifty basically crashed. And um, I ended up getting two of them. You know, one of them, um, uh, I, I got them both on, I, I got that first one on accident because, you know, Nifty crashed and apparently they charged my credit card, which was great. I got number 40. I was able to turn around and resell it for like $1,000 really quickly specifically because I got in early. And the thing that you have to understand about crypto crypto art is that you buy oh. it and the early ones get minted first. The earlier right. you are, the sooner the sooner you buy it, the more the earlier it gets uh, it, it gets minted. And so if you're looking to quick. You, they, flip you, it right quickly, away. you have to have a very early number you know, in order to get in on that initial, Reso. oh shit, I missed out on this. I'm going to pay whatever it takes in order to get one. And those prices can ramp up really quick and then slow, you know, pretty quickly, just as quickly ramp back down. It's a race so to the bottom in bidding at that at point. At that point, it is a race to the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Like, for example, that John Norlander, I got one. I was able to flip it to for $1,000. I was really excited. I hit it, like, right at the peak when people were willing to buy. And then the next morning, I woke up and I noticed I had another one. I'm like, oh, shit, I just spent $750 or $1,000, you know, and now I've got to, I've got to get rid of this. But you that's know, the thing. That's because, the difference between trying to do flips and actually collecting. Right, right, right. See, you know, I I, I didn't know I, I like John Norlander's stuff now. And that, that's another thing about this industry this this whole space is yeah, that learning I'm learning so much more yeah. about all these artists, which is fantastic. You know, I feel like I'm learning more about the artists now than I have over the past couple of years, you know? And so uh uh I, I, I sold that second one but I was just trying to get rid of it, you know, and ended up like only making like ten dollars, you know, or I may have just broken even on it, but, you know. And then there was another one where there was seven hundred and something minted within the first like ten seconds or the first minute, and it took me so long to it took me three and a half hours to get my mint that by the time I tried and turn around and flip it, I made twelve dollars. Yeah, you know. And I got some people pissed at me because they're like, you keep on lowering your price. They were hitting me up on Instagram. What are you trying to do? Drive down price? I'm like, no, I'm just trying to get rid of it. You know? But that's I don't the difference. Because be we have some that we're collecting and holding on. Right. Holding on. Right. Which that's why that's why I'm a lot more hesitant now about the open edition ones because well, they're especially going to mint 4,500 of them. What's the point? It's, like especially in Nifty now. Nifty now, you're. It's like so many people have heard about it. It's like okay, if you're wanting to collect one, just understand these open editions. There's going to be a lot of them. And the bots you know? come in, so they, and it's the just bots it's come in, awful. buy them. Yeah, I'm you done know? with open edi editions completely. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's better to do these drawings because it's the, the drawings it's or you or the bot. You never know. Yeah. 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 You know, the drawings are great. If you've got the money to do an auction, do the auction. If if you've got the money, if you just want to collect, the open editions are great if you just want to collect their art, you know? Right. Or if you think their art is going to increase and you're cool with holding for a while, right. you know? But there's that's, a whole flipping game. There's a whole collecting game. There's a whole yeah. posting your own game. It yeah, you're not going to make you're... a huge profit. Yeah. Let the, bot, the bots are going to do that, you know? So yeah. buy the art for the art. You know? Exactly. Um, Somebody was asking speaking about... Of, mm -hmm. Hold on. Speaking of crashing, let's talk about the people crash. Yeah, I just wanted to note real quick that somebody was asking about which Discord. Oh, Kent was asking about which Discord. There is a an, the Get Nifty Facebook group, and then there's the matching Discord. I will say that currently they're closed, and this is not because they're trying to shut anybody out. 
just trying yeah. to slow the influx when too many people come at once we can't all get to know each other like on our slack yeah. so it's the same thing with theirs they've uh i think it's david and, and chelsea who made the decision to just hold on for a second let everybody get acquainted because acquainted because you don't know it, it could get flooded with a bunch of like people who aren't mo graphers we're trying to right we're all trying to promote right, each other right, right now and mm -hmm. and so i think their intention is to keep it that way and they're just holding on yeah that for so but it doesn't mean that if you talk to them directly you can't get into it i think they mentioned yeah. that like you know it's not like it's super like closed down exclusive shut right. down for good so all right let's talk sure. about that now on the on the topic of of open audition uh, editions this is exactly why i had no intention of even trying to get this other people drop this week yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, here's so for those who are uninformed about this, uh, Beeple was dropping 105 of his select dailies from the Christie's auction um, all at once on Maker's Place, and um, he, he he apparently told them you're gonna need more you're gonna need more uh, more server yeah. space or whatever you know in order to handle it. And that site crashed hard. Mm -hmm. It crashed hard. I don't know if anyone was even able to get one. I think maybe three people bought, were able to buy or something. And odds are they were probably bots, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it it crashed hard. It's and not so, that it's not that they couldn't handle the influx of people hitting the button. It's that mm -hmm. it crashed from people just being on the site before they could even yeah. hit the button. That's the problem. Yeah. I couldn't even get logged yeah. in. And yeah. So. Billy says three or four of them were minted. So he's got 101. So basically, what they ended up doing is they're going to do a drawing. For, for those who don't know, if you were on there trying to buy one, or if you even visited that Beeple thing within four hours of the of the uh, the drop and you were logged in, you may be eligible for this Beeple drop. So if you go into your Make Us Place uh, uh, settings... And you 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 may have a your account settings. You may have a button that says "Make me eligible for the Beeple drop." And it so makes they are doing that drop in your address manually, though, rather than using MetaMask. It was I didn't quite understand why it did it that way. That, well, yeah, you have to connect a wallet. To yeah, but it why can't you just stuff. connect your wallet? Why did you have to paste it in? I don't know. I just th they said if you don't have a wallet, they'll provide you one. So I just let them provide me one, even though I had a wallet in there, registered wallet. Yeah. Do we know by uh, four, do we know what time? Well, it by is? four p.m. today is the deadline. Four p.m. Uh, EST. Oh, there you go, Billy. Four p.m. EST to no to, Pacific. Four p.m. Pacific. Oh, Pacific. March first. Four. Oh, you must. Oh, sorry. You have to confirm it by four p.m. Pacific time today in order to be eligible. To be sorry. eligible. Okay. Yes. And okay. All right, that makes sense. I don't know what time the actual drawing is or if they've even said. Uh, the registers uh, verified before the drop. Of course, most people will watch this after the fact and it won't matter. So, you know, what are you going to do? Go to the settings page, the raffle. Um, anyway, anyway, you'll have a raffle ID and it'll be, yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern, he says. Um, our, by the way, I also want to mention that oh, Aryev's yeah. and Chelsea's like four hour four hour clubhouse call the other night was uh -huh. amazing, so yeah. awesome. And I and I sent a message to Chelsea. I, I haven't heard back yet, but I wasn't sure if that was recorded or not. Because if that mm -hmm. was recorded, I'd love to get a link that we could put in the show notes to send people yeah, to because that was fantastic. And what's uh, what's cool about the Discord is being able to uh, just hop in and hop out of like the the group chat and stuff like that. Like I'll, I'll get on there and I'll just start it going, even though no one else is on, you know? Right. Cause and I know someone, reacts. someone will see that I, I hopped in and they'll be like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that happened the other day. Tuna hopped in, you know? Yeah. Well, he, when he saw tuna. me just getting in, we met last night. So, he's, pretty, he's good people. Yeah. Tuna's nice. Uh, the thing about the, the one thing that I do like about this, it, it's, it's really made me stop and think about the art right like yeah. what do i really want to do like what is really worth someone paying for not just what can i put on instagram right right what do i feel like i could do a series of that, that i could really think this out and really plan it's a little bit different of a a, a feeling you know and, and it's not just 
it's not just going to be this. Like, think about where this is going in the future. That's why we're saying this may be a bubble, but it's it's not a short-lived fad. Like, this is going somewhere, right? What happens yeah. in 20 years when AR is all over the dang place and everything – you know, is, is connected yeah. this way when there's a special cool face tattoo or helmet or something yeah. that is like really expensive and it costs a lot of Ethereum or Bitcoin and somebody has to make that thing. I've been saying this for years. Everything yeah, is going to have be modeled and have illustrations. <laughs> we are making, we are making life pay to play. <laughs> that, well, yes. But the thing is that there's going to be a need for artists for all of this moving forward. There's yeah. going to be a need for artists to, again, I always use the can as an example, but to model the AR stuff that goes along with this for this company yeah. so that yeah. when you pick it up, it says, buy more Monster Energy drink at Amazon.com, yep. unfortunately. But <laughs> that stuff is coming, right? And and there's going to be stuff that's worth a million. You're going to have a virtual outfit that you can wear it with your AR glasses on when everybody has AR glasses so they can see how extravagant you are with your million dollar yeah. virtual piece of clothing. Like this right. is going down that road. That, it's, it's the that thousand dollar iPhone app called I am rich, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Did they ever sell that? <clears throat> All right. What? what else? We Did they ever sell that app? The rich uh, app? Yeah. They sold two of them. I think. Yeah. Uh, other notes so. I have here because we only ha we have less than ten minutes left. You got to go, uh, Ryan yep. Summers at Camp Mograph. I wanted to mention if you were at Camp Mograph, he said, "Has anybody in Mograph retired yet? Like, yeah. what what, it, what does it look like for a Mographer to retire?" And none of us knew. None of us had an yeah. idea. But I think now we kind of have an idea that this yeah. is a possibility. Yeah. The thing is, if you're if you're creating art, you know, for it, it it's oh okay. This is one thing I wanted to say. You know, it, it like. And I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback it off of it. So if you're creating art and stuff for yourself and stuff that you want to sell, this is an easy way to do it now. It's not just, you know, creating prints and then having people buy prints, you know, that's, that's the old way. That's the old way. This is the new way of doing it, the digital art form. And I, I keep on hearing people anytime I, like I, I went to my kid's Taekwondo the other day and there, and, uh, uh, his instructor was like, so wait, you just buy it and you don't get to display it on the wall. And I immediately had this thought of this old CSI, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, show, you know, where there's this, you know, there's this warehouse of art that's just being stored for people who are collecting it and want to, uh, yeah. want to hold it, hold it, hold it to see if it, yeah, they're basically holding in real life, right? You I know, and it's like IRL. if you think, if you think that every single like painting that's ever been bought is displayed somewhere you're yeah. insane yeah <laughs> you know that's true people are just holding on to it as an investment or a collection to say that i own this or or you know that uh that i'm that this will be worth more one day yeah they're putting you know? in climate controlled storage or climate and, and, controlled yeah, storage covered by you know security and stuff like that i mean that it's just it's just this is now kind of the robin hood of art collecting you know they're making it more accessible to us as you know poor people or whatever you know what i'm <laughs> saying Billy says i have twice as many prints and tubes than i do on my walls right yeah. and right with the ryan exactly. summers thing it's like we we didn't know what retiring would look like but gavin shapiro said he's leaving his job that's great to, to just do his art and that's what a lot that's of people want to do i don't know if rev's yeah. ever going to work for anybody else again i uh, <laughs> you know i don't think well <laughs> um and my other question though is is you know how does how does this does this change anybody's rate does that change uh right like will will companies now have to pay more for the really good top tier artists if they want right. them to come and work with them on something because they're like i could make a million dollars over here you want to pay me a thousand to make you a right you know what i mean and where's right. that going to go and then there's there's it's also going to open up opportunity for others who aren't yeah do, uh, making it in the crypto space because yeah, these companies absolutely. need and there there's so much that's going to open up in the form of jobs yeah in so yeah, many I ways i don't think this is hindering anything you know yeah you, and you know if some of these some of these uh uh some of these things sell that could be i mean that could be your new exposure you know you're exposing yourself to a new group of people 
who, you know, are like, hey, I'd love you to work on this project. I love your short film. I bought it. You know, let's do something. But there's this 3D artists my, that make architectural yeah. ren renderings and things. Yeah. Maybe yeah. somebody could do an architectural rendering as an NFT, I guess. Um, I'm yeah. sure that somebody would buy that. But it's not going to be like the mainstream NFT, I don't think, like architectural yeah. renderings. But those people yeah. – they they but are it doing depends on the artist for... if they're really well like we love MoGraph stuff you know but you know there could be a really famous architect who's going to be doing some digital illustrations and then you get someone who just loves architecture you know right it's it's but yeah you're it's gonna have different. more people that are still working in the architectural space yeah. rather than making nfts you know there's there's yeah, a yeah. lot of 3d animation things that are not moving that space there's going to be a lot of jobs that are just still there hopefully yeah I, i'm just i'm interested to see where that kind of stuff goes what it yeah. does to like is it scarcity of artists or not is what's going to happen to rates what's going to happen commercially are there going to be commercial yeah. collaborations yeah all of and that. if you're able to sell your work for a really high price for stuff that you're doing personally like you need to you need to think about your self-worth maybe raise your rates a little bit because maybe you're just undercutting yourself, you know? Yeah. I love what Kent said in the chat. Sometimes a painting will just move to another part of the warehouse when sold. Yeah. <laughs> and the warehouses are always in free ports for tax reasons. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, That's of it. Of course. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, last thing I wanted to do is just mention two crypto links. We didn't mention Winkleman was on CNBC. Yeah. Dude, that he was, was so funny. The freaking the freaking uh, hype button that he had was yeah. so funny. He was like, "Oh, I thought I was gonna be on Kramer, you know." So I, thought I, had I was gonna my... be on Kramer. <laughs> he had to like not cuss for a minute. That was interesting. Right. But man, did he know what he was talking about? He was using all the words yeah. that I don't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, they they. So what to are you do... gonna be investing in? Uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum? It's like I don't know. I don't know. I Come just on, I know crypto people. Yesterday. I know people. People. I, I don't know how much investment people does, and I, I don't. I don't know if people has bought any crypto art yet. You know. Oh, that's. I don't know if he's doing oh, that. Man, what does he see? That's the thing. Then he buys yeah. that influence, and then yep, pff, yeah, blow, blowed up, yep. blowed up. See, you saw. I mean, you saw his influence with with Phil's. So. What you saw? His yeah, I did. Yeah, films. yeah, yeah. So, uh, last link though is cryptoart.io. This is interesting because it gives you lots of really cool mm -hmm. stats uh, yeah. on artists and the industry. Man, January, you see this graph shoot up to like eighty million dollars. This yeah. industry right yeah. now, it's insane. I don't have anything else. I cannot believe we got through all of these notes. I know. And I still got five minutes, so I gotta go pick up my kid. I just gotta say, you don't have to, you don't have to pick a side. You don't have you to. You don't pick have a side. to even decide if you like it or not yet, because I think it's too yes. early to find out. But let people have their fun if they like it. Just just give it some time. Just give it a little bit of time. This will subside yeah. just like everything else. Everything. It will normalize. Yep. We'll find a way to yep. work it into what we're doing. A couple months ago, Unreal was the big talk of the town, and everyone was talking about Unreal. Yeah. You know, now that's kind of subsided. People have their opinions about it, and we're moving on to the next and then thing. Unreal Five will come out, and everybody's gonna yeah. blow up again. Yep. So you know, who yeah. knows what's gonna happen in a month? Yeah. So I just, I hope we're all millionaires by then. Yes, me too. All of us. Well, that's it for the so. drop. That's it for the drop. The drop. 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 Is this the fucking mic? Drop. This is exactly what I should be doing. Ah!